everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about a pesticide that I have here in front of me called Phantom. Now, Phantom is actually going to be one of the first pesticides that we're going to talk about on this show that you probably cannot buy over the counter, meaning you can't go to a Home Depot or a Lowe's or other local convenience store or hardware store and find this on the shelves. This is a pesticide that you are going to need a license to apply and purchase. That being said, it is a pesticide that I think everybody should be familiar with in terms of the name because you may have a pest control company come out to your house to treat your bed bug infestation and this is a pesticide that you may want to see them applying at some point during the treatment protocol. And that is because Phantom actually falls into a different type of pesticides as opposed to the very common class of pesticides we see applied in homes called synthetic pyrethroids. And what those are is those are a nerve toxin and a lot of the pesticides that you apply in your home and can purchase at your different stores around the area fall into. And this, as I said, is a different type of pesticide. And because of that, it has shown in lab results to be effective against bed bugs. And so if your pest control company comes to your house to treat and you ask them what they're using and they don't mention this pesticide, that may be a slight concern. It's not a reason to not use a company, but it is something that could show that the company is up to date on their information about bed bugs because again, this is a pesticide that can be effective against bed bugs. Now, my concern with Phantom is that it can take 7 to 14 days to kill a bug when a bug is exposed to it. And so if you do see a company come in and they are using this pesticide, and the next night you get bitten by bed bugs, you might say, oh my god, this pesticide isn't working, what's going on? When that may not necessarily be the case, because remember, as I said, this pesticide has been shown to take a little while to kill the bugs. So even though they've been exposed to it, they may still bite or go about their different life cycle. So, if a pest control company comes in and uses this product, yes, that's a good thing, because it can be effective, but you may want to also understand that it may take a few days for those bugs to die. And so let's go into what it actually does just for a second, so that way the pest control professionals that are watching this video can understand a little bit about why they're applying this. As I said, this pesticide falls into a different class of chemicals than a lot of the other pesticides that we have available to us. And because of that, Phantom can be very effective against treating for resistant bed bugs. Lab results have shown that resistant bed bugs to synthetic pyrethroids may succumb to an application of Phantom insecticide. So it may be something you want to incorporate into your protocol for bed bug control. Because if you run into a resistant bed bug population and all you're using are synthetic pyrethroids, you may have to end up getting rid of the bugs with another method. And this may end up helping you. Now it's not to say that Phantom is the silver bullet. And as I say, I do have some concerns over it taking 7 to 14 or more days to kill a bed bug. Because you have this applied in a home where somebody's getting bit by bed bugs and you're applying a pesticide that may take 7 to 14 days to kill them. So that's a little bit of a concern. But I definitely do think this is something that should be incorporated into bed bug control programs. It's something that we use very commonly and something that we recommend the use of. Again though, you always want to make sure that when you are applying these pesticides, you're following the label recommendations. It's very important to make sure you're applying it in a manner consistent with what the label recommends. So, to review real quick about this pesticide, again, it goes by the common name Phantom, and it can be effective in controlling bed bugs. And it is something that you should be looking for if you're evaluating a treatment program of a pest control company that you are hiring, or if you're a pest control company watching this, this is something that you're definitely going to need to consider incorporating into your program, because it may address resistance concerns, which we've talked about here on this show several times in the past. So. If you have any questions about this product or anything else that we talk about on the show, please don't hesitate to email me at jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com and I would be more than happy to answer any questions you have about this product or anything else we talk about on the show. Alright everybody, I hope to see everybody soon enough.